What is going on everyone? Commodore Laz here, bringing to you guys my reaction slash review of Dadanan Manga Chapter 170. Now, the chapter is out. It's a Monday. You know what that means. We're here to sit down and read the latest installment of Yuki Nobutatsu's work of art. The time has come. Continuation of the greatness. Even on Thanksgiving, we find time to read Peak. Even though technically I had the dinner and stuff yesterday to make sure that today I could focus on the work get things done because it's still a dotted on week man but before of course we get into the chapter and everything if you guys of course are celebrating thanksgiving my canadian viewers back at home uh happy thanksgiving hope you guys are enjoying it family friends all that eat as much turkey the foods all that whatever you need to consume it and then if you have to consume greatness right now which is dotted on make sure to do that but the other piece of business i would like to let you guys know real quickly i have finished editing the discussion for the Space Globalist, Onobusume, and the Danmanra arcs. Finally got around to doing it. I've been sick last little while. So, uh, I try to make it not as obvious in my videos and everything, but we were able to get it done. I am shooting for some time this week. So, again, click on the bell of Shandora so that way you guys can know when as soon as the upload comes out, the video is going to drop. I'm very excited about this project that I got to uh, work on with a couple good individuals who love the series as much as me and just go through our thoughts on those arcs I didn't cover when I was away from covering the series. So, be ready for that when it does drop. But for now, we have a chapter to read. And my God, man, I need the name of old girl that seems right now is in the control or being controlled, basically, by Mr. San Jomei, a.k.a. Count Saint Germain. Because now after that whole ordeal with San Jomei chasing down Okra and asking him to yield and now knowing that's basically what he was trying to get the girl to do with Momo. This arc right now, I feel like we're about to hit that part where the kettle is about to just blow up. The dynamite's going to go crazy and things are going to uh, ascend. So let's get into the chapter. Let's see what uh, Tatsu has for us this week on a beautiful Monday. Here we go. And we start off right here. Chapter 170, a suspicious woman. And it goes straight to her. And I'm going to tell you right now. The backstory that is going to be loading off the back of the last page of last chapter. Oh my god, I, I'm telling you right now, man. This girl, I, I don't know what the plan is going to be. If she's going to become a casualty, if she's someone that's going to end up joining up with the group or whatever. But I am, I'm very much tuned in to see what's going to happen with her. But we see her walking around the hallways and stuff afterwards, like veered off in the corner, and like just to show like the loneliness. That she's kind of going through and everything too. Because you see like everyone else is like basically in partners. Or just have somebody they want to walk with. And she's the only one by herself. She gets brushed to the side right after being pushed by someone. She can't even like walk like normally. And then I don't know if they're, if they're making fun of her in the back. Or they're just having a conversion. So, but you see her leaning towards the uh, the wall and everything too. Okay, so we're getting... Bro, hold on. I see black bars though. I should have noticed it from the very first page. If this is backstory time off the rip, oh my god, Tatsu, what a way. This is how you give thanks to me on my day, bro, instead of waiting a month afterwards for my neighbor's downtown, bro. But yo, know, so we're going into the classroom afterwards. I'm assuming this is within the same year, still like within the series, still, or like maybe a year prior, but I'm, I'm assuming this is like right now, like current time, uh, when this is all going down. So you see her after trying to walk into the classroom. And I think somebody is probably sitting in her seat based on the reaction she's giving from like a third person view here. And she's walking. Um, that's my seat. Oh, here we go. And she's going to get told off or something right here. And then you see the two girls they are trying not to like keep their laughter. Do you guys like hear a voice? Must be a ghost. Yeah. Oh, bro. I'm just realizing right now. This is going to have some... Like, connection. I'm, like, not connection in terms of, like, them being connected or whatever, but similarity to how Okron was basically being treated when he was a little kid, you know, the stuff with the ghosts and all that. Or, sorry, let's just say in the aliens and then Momo with the ghosts. But I, it's going to be one of those where they just completely ignored him or just, like, oh, my God. And if anyone's going to connect with them, it's probably going to be Okron. Like, anyone that's probably going to connect with them in this arc, it's probably going to be Okron. So, see her off in the corner afterwards. And then, okay, so switching over now, I guess, like, some apartment building. So, I'm going back home. I'm home. Alice. There he, wait, 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 wait. Is that her name? Alice. 
That's incredible. You won first prize again. Oh, no, no. It's just somebody else. Somebody else. Who won first prize again? Oh, I've won lots. I won it a lot of times. Wow. Not at all like your big sister. Please don't mention me in the same breath as that loser. What the hell, bro? Oh, God, man. Tatsu, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, we go again, bro. Another character mistreated, whether it be from society or literally their own blood. Oh, bro, this... Here we go, man. Younger... And this is the one, the one, as an older sibling, you definitely can feel this, too. But when the younger siblings, because they always say they have the better potential, whatever, and stuff. And then they, you're as you, as the eldest. Even though you're the one that's, like, the gatekeeper and all that. You're, you're treated terribly. And I... Man... Oh, my God. And we don't even have her name. We just only have the sister's name. That's how you know, like, she's such an afterthought in the way that this is being depicted. When you're getting the sister, who's probably not going to mean anything whatsoever in the story. It's getting a name before she's getting a name, man. Oh, my God. Talk to bro. You got to relax on me, man. She's truly talentless. It was only when she was young that anyone fussed over her. Bro. 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 How the hell do you just go off with that kind of slander? Nah, man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I mean, as the other son of myself, I'm swinging hands. <laughs> like, I'm swinging hands. Yeah, I know there's probably a case of she doesn't have that, that confidence, but not like, and not like the unji, like just, you know, just, I'm going to go and destroy because, again, circumstances led to that down that path. But in my own home, we're not talking down on me. I promise you that. I will not talk down on you if you don't talk down on me. If you talk down on me, I'm going to swing. But it's understandable here. She doesn't have that confidence. To go up and be like, nah, but like, what, what are you talking about? So she goes and sits down on the bed after looking off, I guess, into the distance and stuff there. This, yeah, the door basically that closes off between herself and her family, which is just even more symbolic than that. I hate this author. I hate this author, bro. I hate this author, yo. He's really, yo, oh my God, talk to you, bro. We have to swing. We have to swing, bro. It's on site. It's on site. It's on site. Yo, I'm going to swing on you, bro. I have to swing on you. You got to be... Yo, now this is going to hurt. Now this is going to hurt even more, bro. You talk down on her. Alice is talking down on her. And she's not looking at the damn door. She's looking at the freaking glass case of all the awards she's won from something she was doing. Grand prize, Koki Yuki. Okay, so we got the name. We got Koki. Koki? K O U K I Kuki, Kuki, Kuki. You let me know down in the comments with the with the pronunciation. Yuki Shiro. I could call her Yuki. I don't mind my Yuki as well. Yuki Shiro, the badass um, surname right there. But Kuki, I'm presuming that's how. Kuki, yeah, Kuki. I'm gonna go Yuki. I'm gonna go with Yuki just to play it safe until we get the uh, pronunciation there. So she was she was doing piano. Oh. Oh, yo, she was Beethoven's successor. Oh, wait. And then you see her this when she was younger and stuff. Oh, man. What type of person you wanted to be? And she was out there in the theaters with the piano and the crowd and the lights on her. Oh, my. What happened? What led to her not? Bro, no, this, it's going to have to be explained in this chapter. Like, I'm not going to take 10 bits and then wait uh, time from time. I need this, all this stuff right now. So she's going back and rip. What, bro? Like you see, like the, like the view. This page is really good. I'm gonna say right now with the piano and stuff and the lights, everything just of her, you know, basking right now in that light as she's basically got done doing a performance and all that. She keeps looking on the awards, and you see her after when she's all happy and everything. Oh my god, man, why? Where did I go wrong? I tried my very hardest. So why am I the only one? Look at me. Fuss over me. Like you did before. Look at me. Oh, bro, Tatsu, 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 Tatsu. It's Thanksgiving, bro. It's Thanksgiving, bro. It's Thanksgiving, bro. We cannot be doing this, bro. It's Thanksgiving, bro. 
There is nothing to be thankful for by seeing that page, bro. There is nothing in this world that makes us to be thankful for, bro. Oh my god, we're not going down this route, bro. We're not going down this route, bro. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I hate it here, babe. Oh my god, taking photos of herself. And a freak got their hands on that because she was trying to be grabbing attention, but now she ended up getting the attention of probably the worst kind of people. People, literally, if you're encased in the shadow, you might as well be in the same files of the Epstein and the Diddy's, bro. And you see the shock right there on her face after she's been just given this phone that shows her all revealing and everything. This is your account. This isn't good now, is it? A digital tattoo is for life, you know. And then you see her sweating and freaking out. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this. I'll keep this to myself. Undo. Hey. No, 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 Sanjay, me. Sanjay, me, bro, please relax. Please relax. I see that letter opener, bro. It's not you, bro. Please don't. Bro. Oh, wait, that's the locker. Is it? It is the locker. Oh my god. 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 No, the count, bro. The count has to be stopped. The count has to be stopped, bro. Stop the count. Stop the count, bro. Please. Please, bro. Please, bro. Please stop this. I'll keep this to myself under one condition. But it's not me. Well, then I'll just have to inform your parents. It's no skin off my back. I have no problem calling any authorities. And I'm get thoroughly investigated. So, what, what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Is that, it's not him. Hold on a minute. That's not him. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why, why am I getting swirls and and the digitization and stuff? Whatever. No, it's gotta be a different alien now. Unless he's encasing himself, whatever. Bro. No, listen, bro. If it's any situation like that old girl from uh, Eden Zero, where you couldn't even see her face and like what exactly was going on and stuff, bro. What are you going to do when you hear me out? And she's like completely like nervous out of her mind. But she knows if that gets out there. Like her image is going to be even worse than what it is already. Was anyone here in the... Oh, bro, why would you switch? Why are we switching back? Why are we switching back, Tatsu? Oh, my God. Bro. Was anyone here in the library during third period? We were in class then. Okay, so you see there from Okron and Vomola... Gigi, Ira, and then Kingta, all together just basically doing this investigation to find out who the hell was trying to jump Momo. Well, was there anyone who wasn't in class? Like, maybe someone who went to the bathroom or nurse's office? Um, was there? Uh, nope. You see some guy lying down or whatever, like, I don't know if it's going to be someone important, but just probably someone sleeping. You, <laughs> what the, why, why, yo, I swear to God, I hate this author, bro, why do you go, and go from one moment where I'm trying to feel something for a character, who clearly is, oh my God, because I could, I, I could feel exactly how I'm feeling for Yuki and everything, because for her, it's like, yo, she had it all right there, in terms of actually having a career, a life, when it comes to the piano, and something happened, that led to her falling out completely from that. She wanted to get that attention again. She was just outcasted. Bro, I'm telling you, ugh, we're going to get the, the full flash, like, continuation, like, whatever the gap that is. Oh, my God. But the freaking, <laughs> how would you do this with Momo, bro? I swear to God. You who, what, what are you doing? No one's noticing me at all. And so I say, please be careful. Ah, volley. And then you see, like, the thing that she's holding on to just, like, falls over right after. Momo, please be serious. You remember what the person who came to the library looked like, don't you? Look for her now. If I see her, I'll recognize her in a flash. Her hair was long and it hit her face. I guess it's not Class E then. Well, shall we go check Class A? No, I never saw that person in Class A. I mean, not someone hiding their face with their... Oh, God. Right off the roof. Oh, here we go. And they spot immediately. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. You're about to get chased. You're about to get chased. You're about to get chased. I'm sorry. I know your circumstances right now are not good, but you're about to get chased. And you see Momo really looking at... But the thing is, what I don't understand, it has to be Sanjo Mendo, because, bro, how the hell is it that you go from 
him holding the letter opener when he was talking with the uh, Okaran. And, like, I'm trying to, like, get the, the damn eyelash of death right now from killing me. But how do you go from, from that thing and then you show that weird spot? That, I don't know. I, I'm going to so assume it's Sanjume. Because if it's not, I, I don't know, bro, at this point. But you see him looking at her. There. That's her. She's here. What? Which one? You there. Wait. And she just tries to bolt immediately. Daichan. You. I go to enter. What? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. I swear to God. And don't you, what are you doing? Oh, someone came out. Mm, look. Catch her. Huh? What? Not to attack Momo. Oh, God. Ah, bro. Please leave me alone. I know you're raw in the fifth, but please leave me alone. Please. <laughs> Yo, he's going to kill me. I'm so sick, bro. Please don't kill me, man. Please do not run in the halls. You see Sanjo May. I don't know if he's from behind or from the front. He's from somewhere. And he goes and says that, I swear, if he's going to say some ouchie ouchies, bro, I'm going to be sick. And they walk. <sighs> yeah, they know. <laughs> yeah, they know. They don't. Listen, they won't outwardly say it, but they're not trying to catch the smoke with him. We see Ira just trying to like make her move and everything. But Mola... <laughs> Holding onto the back of Okra, almost like they're trying to do some like uh Hawaiian dance samba stuff, or whatever. You see, Gigi just like throwing the thumbs up. I can't to try to play it off, like he's just like a Yakuza Lord, bro. Just like you know, strut, walk away. And they're <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is he still following them? Oh, god, mate, no, <laughs> they book it immediately. Z so went in there, Gigi and Vamola, you cover the rear door. Okay, okay, don't let her out of that classroom. I'm sure Tori, she could attack with that knife. Let me go in first. And they go and open the door. Why are they surprised? What are, why are they surprised? Oh, no. She, the, fairy, the, the gnome. The, the fairy gnome or whatever. She disappeared. And that's the end of the chapter. Bro, I swear to Bro. You couldn't give me more? Oh, couldn't give me more, bro. Oh, my God. She bounced. Yeah, 100% turned into the gnome and she bounced afterwards. But are they going to be able to find her in this classroom? Or are they going to have to just go and rendezvous somewhere else at another time? But, god damn, bro, in the chapter, man. Okay. So, at the very least, some developments have finally come into play, right? We got a name right now, which is Koiki, Koiki Yukishiro. Like, we got Yukishiro's name. We got this idea of exactly what happened with her when she was growing up. She was like a famous, or I wouldn't say fame. I should have to be a little bit famous. Like she had like awards and everything as a kid. She was basically like this top prodigy in playing the piano and coming up and you know having actually like you know contests that she was going to going to the theaters and actually like performing and basically her talents being recognized by loads of people and everything. And it looked like she basically had a career one day coming for her as a pianist, and then. Like, you see the flip and switch, right? When she's holding on to the award and then going for her time in school and something happened in between. And I think that's going to come whenever we go and deal with her, like, on the personal side of things, deeper into this arc. That's going to show the gap between when she was winning awards to her current predicament right now. That saw her basically, like, taking all these photos of herself and almost, like, you know, soliciting basically out onto the internet and then... The one individual who I'm going to assume it's Sanjame because the fact that they provided them with the letter opener afterwards and he was seen holding one with Okarun, they're basically exploiting them. And it makes sense even more because the fact that she has now this ability with the gnome fairies and all that has to come from him. So even more now, this should confirm that Sanjame is in fact controlling Yukishiro and making her do all this stuff that we're seeing right now. And... The investigation was quick, too. Went to one class, found her walk in, bang. And now they're going to try and chase her. Now that they know that she escaped, I would imagine that Momo's probably going to be the one that realizes that she's the one that she saw in the library in terms of that like fairy gnome thing that's there. That she has that power to either utilize them or turn into one themselves. So that's where I think things are about to go in direction-wise from the way this arc is looking at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if this is going to be held in the classroom or they're going to have to go somewhere else exactly, because I don't know if they can do this in the school in the sense that Sanjo May is going to be around and 
especially because I don't think he is aware of the fact that Okron lost his powers. We know Turbo Granny is going to be a while to they come back, and we're going to have to deal with only the physical prowess of what Okron has from the time that he's been training in the series. But again, that's without using any of the special abilities and all that. So it's going to be very interesting to see where they're going to go with this, if it's going to be held inside the school. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time because we saw that before with the Loch Ness Monster stuff and the uh, circles and all that. But in this case, I don't know where else they could go. I mean, they could go into like the theater. Maybe it's one idea that's teased there, a forest possibly, if that's a chase around into one, which I think would be more symbolic even too with fairies and everything. But yeah, man, there's a lot of directions this can go into, but at least now we're getting some clarity in terms of what we're dealing with, you know, what possibly was the cause for all this and who exactly is controlling her, which is very important to get out the way because if it isn't more obvious now that the Count Saint Germain himself is a problem that we're gonna have to deal with for a long time this chapter right here I think told us that this guy is the furthest thing from good he may have helped us out when we needed it in the Don Monroe arc but going forward I will respect Turbo Granny's answer when they were like you know hyper geezer the reaction from that that's all we need to know this guy is not to be trusted completely so yeah, I feel like this arc is going to probably even determine even more that he's a dangerous society. And, yeah, man. Tatsu, uh, it's what ma madness awaits. I know what this arc. And if this chapter is an indicator of what is to come, then, yeah, we're going to we're gonna experience a banger, but at what cost? Or suffering, possibly. But, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below regarding this week's chapter. Dotted on very good stuff here that should hopefully progress things now into what should be the middle sections of the arc let me know how we're feeling about it you know in terms of your uh your feelings on it how do you feel the situation is going to go with you know yuki shiro and of course the pronunciation of the koki part because it feels like something i should be able or koki i don't know i feel like it's something i should be able to pronounce no problem but i don't know <laughs> i guess not but you know your thoughts on the comments below any clarifications any input anything you want to add about the chapter or what do you think could come from it let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of the manga for Donadon on the Mondays. As well as my coverage of the anime for Donadon on the Thursdays. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandor to stay up to date with everything goes on the channel. And of course, keep an eye on the channel for when we have the discussion video coming out for the Space Globalist, Honorable Cement, and the Don Monor Arcs. It should be coming out this week. Again, bell of Shandor is very important. Make sure I think at the notification because if not... I got some people on YouTube side that I'm going to have to uh, swing hands with and uh, maybe have to pull my own Sanjume uh, tactics out. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys on Thursday for the anime and, of course, next week for the manga. And then hopefully later this week with the discussion video. So, yeah, just looking forward to what's to come because it's a very good time right now to be a fan of da 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 A lot of stuff to discuss, a lot of stuff to appreciate. And we wouldn't have that without you know with Toss's work of art, as we should. Commodore last signing off. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah.